I am Paolo Cirio, I am uh, an artist full time. Um, I define myself as conceptual artist. However, um, I cover quite a few genres. Um, so I do street art, I do internet art, I do kind of documentary art, investigative art, I also curate, I also write. And uh, my work is uh, in the public space, but also in galleries, uh, in museums. It takes many forms. So I work uh, mainly about uh, the idea of um, information society. So my work look at how internet and uh, information systems in general affect society, the law, the um, economy, the politics, uh, also the, the personal sphere, so privacy, um, and surveillance, and also free speech, the most uh, important uh, specific issue to tackle that is uh, the intersection of all these fields and complexities that needs to be solved. I was actually at MozFest already last year um, uh, for um, another project I was invited to uh, the documentary filmmaking crew. <laughs> so, and uh, that case was about copyright. And uh, this year, instead, I've been invited uh, officially uh, from the VNA and the Tate um, as uh, an artist in residency, kind of my studio in a way here um, however I wanted to present a specific project mm. well there are two mainly two the main uh, forces that have to work on a negotiate uh, one is the work itself that's not controversial but in a way a uh, very powerful work so I receive a lot of uh, reactions, and that's good, that's what I want. Uh, sometimes there are legal reactions, uh, because sometimes it has to do with hacking. I have to um, figure how to present very sensitive information, but also keep challenging the subject, because otherwise it's not powerful. That's one side. The other side is the uh, art world, so the context where I present my work, but also the context where I get paid to make the work. Um, and that is actually also very hard because the art world is very politicized uh, in, 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 the, in term of like uh, who control the budget and who control um, the artist's career, and that makes it very hard. Uh, what I enjoyed the most is surely um, the, the impact of my work on uh, real people outside of the art world and outside of this building and inside, outside of this interview because my work wants to reach out as much as possible and because of that it's very uh, you know, um, kind of fulfilling when there is a person from a very different context and comes to me and say I don't know anything about art, but um, you help me for this reason, other reason. Not having people let you down, meaning like not having, not getting frustrated, uh, and so keep going even in a hard time, and of course like taking breaks and uh, uh, reflect and uh, keep challenging uh, your work and uh, whoever control your work.